jungle audio 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 jungle audio audio jungle audio jungle audio jungle audio jungle audio jungle Hello, I'm gonna try uh, something new here. Um, it's maybe not gonna work out, uh, so this is kind of like a test run. Um, so I'm reacting to Wonder Woman today. Uh, so without further ado, let's go. So uh, Wonder Woman is kind of like the um, uh, the Greek goddess or or something, right? So like she is uh, like the amazon goddess i'm sorry um so she's like invincible but not invincible because she, like she uses her fisticuffs and everything right i've watched this one through already and i think like it's gonna be definitely gonna be more of the action uh because Because um, Wonder Woman is like the comic book character who is supposed to reflect uh, Captain America as well, right? And is that really the case of the um, uh, Zack Snyderism? I would say, like it looks like it's gonna be another like epic from him, or like um, just a storyline for him. It also kind of reminds me of like Pearl Harbor from Michael Bay as well. I hope. Warner Brothers movies does better in the future and I mean that in all honesty I know we've had our differences Warner Brothers television but we're still good Warner Brothers pictures like you haven't like fucked me over yet so I mean you technically did with like Batman v Superman but I kind of like took that as like a wild ride kind of thing I like the ending, uh, it's very much uh, fun and um, very like showing that he may be able to balance his uh, comedy and action this time but yeah uh, so yeah that's about, that about it um, just a few points I want to talk about or just say in general if I haven't mentioned it yet because I'm super tired guys and I I think I went on a tangent there and I kind of forgot what I was about to say but what I think I was just going on about was that um, DC has always kind of a style and its style wants to be really dark and gritty but also wants to keep in of a happy and peppy. Now while I'm not saying that it can't work both ways I'm saying that it's better to have a focus than to like diversify and not get anything out of it because like if you really think about it Batman v Superman is a dark as a good dark comedy because it starts off like a joke like it's like um oh my it's been such a long time with that movie it starts off with um, Batman seeing Metropolis being destroyed because it's right across the street um, and <laughs> a lot of people took issue with that but I was like yeah I guess I don't know it's, it's stupid but I was like whatever I don't really care it's, uh, like I don't really care I'm, I'm into seeing it because like uh, somebody dragged me to watch it, so I was like, yeah, okay, I'll give it a chance, I think. But I've, at that point, I already knew, like, it wasn't gonna be that good. And I mean, I saw the trailer, so I, was, I wasn't, like, super hyped for it. Because, like, you know, the trailer kind of gave it away that it wasn't gonna be that good. Um, I definitely think Suicide Squad was going more back to his Watchmen route, which I 
I find I found Watchmen to be the better ones of his. I feel like Watchmen was really artsy, so I I kind of like fall for artsiness. Um, I'm so artsy. <laughs> nah, I I just mean that in a good way because like artsiness also can lead to like interesting visuals, which Watchmen did have, and like interesting storylines uh so that was like really good uh a really good analogy of like what he can do um i definitely think that Zack snyder can do good work like i didn't see him in this maybe he's not directing it um but definitely some of his prints are in here i definitely think the action sequences is gonna do well because he's kind of like that Michael Bay area as well, like he can do the action based um and definitely I think he's he's learned a lot of things from Christopher Nolan. But I definitely think also think that he just loses focus on what to keep in and maybe you know he doesn't know all of the characters appropriately and that's why I think he failed like Luther but it also gave the most nonchalant performance from Jesse Eisenberg I've ever seen. Uh, so that's just, I'm sorry, that's just a Batman v Superman. But what, how does it tie into Wonder Woman is because DC does really want to have its uh, DC comic universe to rival Marvel comic universe. So it's like, how do you do that? without copying Marvel you have to you have to stop comparing yourself to Marvel that's first um, because I heard mixed feelings about Doctor Strange and that was a Marvel movie I haven't watched it yet but I definitely am not hyped because like I don't know what yet character is um, but yeah on Wonder Woman I think that it would be a good movie I'm not saying it's gonna be like 10 out of 10 but I'm definitely gonna be maybe seven, seven point five maybe, from just this um, trailer alone because like, it gives you enough to drag you in. And at this point, myself personally, I'm very indifferent. But I can see how people could interpret it as better. Maybe if. He loses, <clears throat> he loses his sight, he loses his vision, and totally goes off the uh, trail at one point. I think it's gonna be like real, like burn DC to the ground and all of that. So, yeah, guys, that's, that's about it. Um, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.